When we think of solar panels, they are usually on land. But in North Korea, South Korea, a giant solar farm is floating on water. And this is the Semigum Floating Solar Project. Developed by Hanwha Solutions, will install around 77 million panels. With a planned total capacity of 1,200 megawatts, it's expected to go commercial by 2026. Now, let's travel to Malang, Indonesia, where another floating solar project is in the works. The Karangkates Floating Solar Power Plant, which is scheduled to open this year is a 100 megawatts floating solar power plant costing around 85.7 million US dollars and covering about 62 hectares. At full capacity, it could power roughly 111,000 homes, each using around 900 watts of electricity. And thanks to Indonesia's strong sunlight, the plant can generate about 175 gigawatt hours of clean energy every year. Selling the electricity at just 8 cents per kilowatt hour, bringing around 40 million dollars in annual revenue. That means the project could pay for itself in just over 6 years. But you may be wondering, how does the energy from a floating power plant make it back to land? Using underwater cable to the shore, in further converted from DC to AC, and transformers adjust the voltage. From there, it's transmitted through power lines and finally delivered to household and communities. Floating solar is just another example of how solar energy can deliver a real impact, providing clean, and renewable energy.